want to show you how my students interact with their new content and practice and deepen their knowledge in an in flipped mastery uh, classroom in year nine science. Now, in our school, we're supported by a learning management system where students can uh, access the videos, but we don't have uh, Google Drive or Google Docs or even um, OneNote that students can access. So subsequently, we do a little bit old school with a workbook. But the important thing about this workbook is, whilst it's a little bit voluminous, this is everything the students are going to need for the whole term. Everything they do is in here. So we start off with just having um, the unit objectives and then also a, um, a unit plan. And then the way it's set up is that each of these double pages is the way the students interact with a video. So before the video, they do pre-video questions. So this part here is the pre-video questions. The idea with that is just activating their prior knowledge, warming up their brain a little bit before they start to look at the actual video. Then when they're watching the video, firstly they write down the goal, the learning goal from the video, and then they take the notes in this section here. You probably recognise this sort of template as a Cornell style notes. So here they take the notes, anything that they essentially see me writing on the screen, or any, any key uh, notes, any questions they might have on the main key terms, etc. go on this left hand column. Then I ask them to write a summary at the bottom. Now this takes a little bit of practice to get them to do a good summary, but essentially as I'm walking around the class, I say to them, what was that video about? And they'll explain it to me. I say, well, perfect. That's what you need to write in your summary. And they do that here. And then they move on and do their post-video questions. And the idea here with the post-video questions, it's, um, it's, it's testing their recall of the content that was in the video, but also asking them to transfer their knowledge to new, unique situations. Each page is for a new video. So then this is the next video. And then the next one. Now, it's not all videos, of course. There's also worksheets along the way. But what I've found is that we've actually got less worksheets now because most of these worksheets have been actually replaced with the post-video questions. As I go around the classroom, I'm checking their responses. I'm obviously checking... Uh, how they're writing their notes, making sure that they are doing the pre-video questions first, they're taking good notes, particularly writing a summary, and they're answering the post-video questions. This is where I check for their understanding, and this is where we have some really nice, rich conversations with the students, identifying any misconceptions, etc. Let's have a look at some how some of the students are writing some of their notes. Um, so, you know, I really try and encourage the students to take pride in their work and write, um, you know, write, write good quality notes. So this student here, it's a little bit light, unfortunately, writing in pencil. But this student has written, you know, quite a, a few notes there from the video. The video is only four minutes, and there's a substantial amount of notes. And then she's written a summary there at the bottom as well. She hasn't actually written any main ideas here. That might be something that I'll talk to her about. And then she goes on and answers these questions. So as the students go, there's also... Um, there's, there's also loads of different worksheets along the way. Um, but there's also experiments as well. Um, and so the way this generally works is it's about inquiry. So, for example, the students are, uh, the question is, well, what actually causes fireworks to be different colours? So asking a question, then they'll do an experiment. In this case, it's a flame test. Then they're going to learn about electron configuration, which is the, the theory or the understanding they need to be able to really work out why fireworks are different colours. And they can go back and apply that knowledge of electron configuration to explain why um, fireworks are different colours, to close them all up together. Um, and so, uh, you know, so whilst whilst there's the videos and the worksheets and the, the questions, we, we're not always front-loading with information. Often there's an inquiry focus as well. All of the students' experiments are in here as well. Um, so, you know, and it's practicing lots of different skills like graphing, uh, etc. And uh, look, the reason, there's two reasons why we, we do it uh, uh, paper based and not electronic. Number one is we don't have access to Google Drives, Google Docs, etc. But the other one, of course, is that particularly in something like chemistry, students need to write. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it takes them far too long 
try and type this sort of superscript and subscript and it's just not necessary. And of course your assessment is in um, uh, is handwritten as well. So that's how we do our year nine chemistry with an in flip mastery.